funny and I cannot believe it's already time to open this month's Lush Kitchen subscription box. You guys, I kind of forgot the thing about doing monthly subscription boxes. It just makes like everything in time seem like the months are going by faster. That is not really a sentence, but here we are with December's already the third ever uh, Lush Kitchen subscription box to unbox. Last month for November's box, we saw a lot of Christmassy kind of products. And so I was guessing and thinking, does that mean for December, we're maybe gonna see like more New Year's kind of products? Also, if you guys have been missing me, I have been hanging out every single day on my Snapchat story. So be sure and follow me there. However, I do have some very exciting videos coming up on this channel as well as my second channel here on YouTube which is at banana peppers so let's go ahead and slice open the box and find out what we're gonna get inside also can you guys see my extensions poking out up there I feel like I didn't do a very good job of pinning them in today slicing slicing I can't find I can't find my official slicer today I finally got the box open and whoop it smells delightful. Right on top is one of our little bonus extra items. So that is the thing with the Lush Kitchen subscription boxes is it seems like some months, now this is just based on this is the third box ever, but my experiences so far is it looks like we're either gonna be getting like more expensive deluxe items some months, i.e. last month we got a very luxurious Yognog fragrance. And some months, it looks like we're gonna be getting some extra like actually like extra items like for instance the first Lush Kitchen subscription box in October we got a really cool hardback notebook a cute little pin so this is another pin to add to the Lush collection so this says 29 High Street now I may not know my Lush lore correctly, but is this like where Lush all began? For some reason I thought Lush was Canadian, but I actually think that they started in the UK first. And then for some reason I always associate Lush with New Orleans and that has nothing to do with anything. Um, Next is our little uh, card. And this month it looks like it's gonna be completely different because um, I don't know if you guys can see, it reminds me of the Inkvent calendar, you guys, for the first time ever. I've done an advent calendar every single day. So the little perforated doors remind me of that experience. So let's go ahead and open up the little door. I'm trying to do it so you guys can see, but I'm not doing a very good job of that. Hello, let me in little door. Am I gonna rip this? I thought I, oh, there we go. I did, I did it goodly. Um, it says for days when the world is too much with us, there's lush. William Wordsworth, oh my God. Um, now, do I rip this apart? Probably not. <laughs> um, normally with every Lush kitchen box, there's also like some info, you know, like a little card with a little poem on it. Um, and this does look like it should open, but I don't want to just keep ripping it. So we'll just, you know, make a wish. We'll explore that deeper later. I don't know why that's so much fun for me. All right, you guys. Oh, this is a box. <gasps> Wait, oh my God. Okay, is this what I think it's gonna be? Oh my God. Okay, it is. It is. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, we have to light this before we go any further. You guys, I have been wanting to try a Lush candle ever since I heard about them like a couple of months ago. They had a Lord... Lord of Misrule, Lord Misrule, I always say that wrong. They had a candle of that fragrance. I just noticed they dropped a new one, uh, Snow Fairy, that's part of their Christmas collection. But oh my God, I've been wanting to try one forever. So this is a 29 High Street uh, fragrance. Oh my God, it smells amazing. You guys, this may sound silly, but I swear it smells 
just like if you visit a Lush store. This is so magical. I'm gonna love this so much. And that's honestly uh, the cool thing and the thing that can be kind of sad about the Lush kitchen box is all of these products are specially formulated for this box. So they don't sell it separately, meaning you cannot repurchase it once you use it and love it. They are all like special products just for that box. Okay, I have a lighter. Let's use it. Oh my God. You guys, I get so excited about things. <gasps> Let's light it. Now, uh, this is something I've seen online about the Lush candles as well. People say you kind of have to light them and leave them going for a while because of course all the Lush ingredients and everything are all natural. So people kind of say you have to like give these an opportunity to burn. And then I think most people were saying in the comments I saw that like within 30 minutes, the fragrance really starts to fill up the room and then it's like very scented. But it's not one of those candles where where you like light it and you start smelling the scent in your room immediately. So I'm gonna pop this back there and then fingers crossed by the time this video is over, this whole video will smell deliciously like a Lush store. I'm like sitting right in front of the candle. Can you see it going back there? Ah. Guys, it remi reminds me of like Tumblr era YouTube when everybody had a candle burning in the background of every video just for the ambiance. Um, you guys, I look down and I cannot believe, is this what I think it is? It looks like the same box that we got the Yognog fragrance in last month. You guys, it is a fragrance <gasps> and it's the same scent as that. You guys, I know somebody is like screaming at me through the, uh, through the camera right now. I'm pretty sure this is where Lush all began, but I don't know. I feel like I don't know like the lore of very many like brands and stuff. I just like, like what I like and I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, but that, that would be my unprofessional guess. But uh, if this smells anything like the candle, I'm gonna love it. Plus, I cannot believe we already got a candle and a fragrance. I feel like those are two like lush, lush items. You know what I mean? Okay, let's have a spray. Did I just spray this off camera so you guys can't even see that I'm spraying it? Oh my god, it does. You guys, why am I holding this box up to you as if you can smell it? This is gonna be my new favorite fragrance. See, that is the thing that I'm thinking is if enough people who subscribe to the Lush Kitchen Box, if we all get together and request, like if we all love a product so much and we all request for it to come back, will they eventually make it a permanent or semi-permanent like seasonal kind of product? That would be amazing. However, I'm kind of curious, like is the whole thing, okay, no. I was like, this is either gonna be something that people are gonna love or not like as much. Um, Cause if you love this fragrance, like I do, you're gonna be so excited that once again, you have like a whole family of products. I feel like I say that in every month's unboxing, how I love that about Lush, where you can just go into the store and get like a whole range of items, like all in the same scent family. I always talk about Karma my personal favorite. Um, but I was about to say, you know, if you didn't like this scent and every single product in this box was that scent, I could see where some people would not like that as much. But the very next thing, you guys, a huge um, shower gel, and this is called Oh my God, dog man is gonna love this. Uh, oh my God, I'm gonna love this too. Happy holidays. I can't even like spit it out. Okay, first of all, I have to show you guys, like look, like that's how it um, just so happened to rest in the box and like look at how sparkly and amazing that looks. Okay, they say on the bottle, this is a delectable cherry chocolate scented lather. Oh my God. Okay, see the first thing I read was chocolate and I was like, dog man's gonna love it. And then the next thing I read was cherry chocolate and I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna love it. That's my favorite candy ever, chocolate covered cherries. It's also my favorite flavor of ice cream ever, which is Cherry Garcia, AKA chocolate covered cherries. Um, oh my God. It does smell just like a box of chocolate covered cherries. Oh my God, this is amazing. Okay, I'm glad that this is such a large bottle because we are both gonna enjoy this product. All right, you guys, up next is 
is this is this a moon or a bird or a bird moon? It has an exclamation on its butt. It also could be an airplane with a face. You guys, we're getting very interpretive with this bath bomb. Oh my God, maybe it's an elf. Hello. Okay, it has ears, rosy cheeks. You know, it's Christmas time. That's like the jingle bell or something on the end of his cap. I kind of like an airplane with a face, personally. Um, ooh. This smells like familiar, very floral. And also it has a little bit of a cinnamon, like warm, spicy element to me. Yes. Um, I'm going to keep digging because right now I still don't see any of the information. Um, you know what this is. Airplane with a face. Smells lovely. But I can't tell you guys any of the notes yet professionally. Um, all right, you guys. Sadly, I think we're already at the end of our box. And this looks very lovely. And I think it's going to be one of the solid moisturizer, like solid body conditioner products. And it looks like it has a rope on it, like a soap on a rope kind of thing. Uh, it Because it's an ornament. You guys, I'm not thinking with my Christmas brain. It smells delightful. Once again, very warm. Um, it almost has like a shea butter scent to it, but oh my gosh, you guys, it literally like melts in your hands. And right now, you guys, I desperately need to be putting this on my elbows and my kneecaps. You guys, like those are the driest parts of my body right now. Um, my elbows and my knees look very crusty. I'm sure everyone at home wanted to know that. All right, you guys, um, this is the only little piece of paper that I'm seeing. I'm just digging peanuts all over the floor down here. So do I rip this further? Dare I rip this? I, I might dare, you guys. Wordsworth is not pleased with me. Okay, I'm seeing that it's like, I don't think that anything's in there, you guys. I think it just feels like that because it's like a double printed card. I could maybe scan the QR code like a human that lives in 2022. Um, but oh, it tells us right here. Uh, so, oh my God. Okay, I'm just rubbing a bath oil all over my body. So that is what this is. Um, it's not a solid conditioner. It is called Winter Night Bath Oil. And it is an ornament. <gasps> you guys, why? There, there we go. Just give me a little time and slowly I will figure it out. Uh, so this says drop in the tub and let the natural oils and butters soften and moisturize your skin. So it is a moisturizer. I'm just rubbing it on my dry skin instead of in the bathtub like a normal human being. Um, all right, up next is, there's no, there's no room on the nice list. Okay, so it's definitely not an airplane. It just says drop in the water, drop in warm water and dissolve. Um, it's maple syrup, violet leaf, rose oil, <gasps> popping candy. Oh my God, you guys, I love those. Uh, bath bombs. I feel like a lot of times we see them like during the Halloween season where you drop the bath bomb in the water and then inside it has like the popping candy. Um, and so it's like you have like a bath, bathtub water filled with magical popping candy. Uh, so I feel like this is very festive, very fun. I also like the name. Then surprise. Oh, surprise. So the surprise was the candle. Love it. Um, and then happy holidays. Of course, we knew the scent of that. And then the perfume. I literally cannot. Sandalwood oil, jasmine, lime oil, Sicilian lemon oil, Tonka Absolute. Um, I don't know what Lino Lul. I've never heard of that fragrance, but oh, it smells delightful. I feel like the scent of the candle is just now waking up back here. I'm just now starting to get the same delightful scent that I get from the fragrance. But oh my God, you guys, I'm putting this like right where I do my makeup because this is going to be my everyday fragrance now for a while. I feel like it's perfect for, you know, the holiday season, um, which once again, this is not sponsored. I do just love unboxing this box with you guys every single month.
month, but this is a box that I actually subscribe to myself so that each month I can take part in the voting process. Like each month they send you an email and they send you like some possibilities of items that can be in the next Lush Kitchen box and you go through. You can say yes to everything. You can say no to everything if you don't like anything that you see. And they give you like kind of a preview of maybe some of the items that are going to be in the box. But sometimes like for instance, the first box, like the October box, I feel like pretty much everything was like a complete and total surprise. I think maybe only one of the things I knew was coming um, that I had like voted on, but everything else was a total surprise. So uh, that being said, I'm very excited about this. I feel like once again, this is a wonderful box filled with scents that are like spot on for the time of year that we're in. Like candy scents, chocolate scents, you know, warm kinds of scents. Um, and also products like bath oils and stuff that will be like extra moisturizing once again for these cold winter months. So you guys, I, I'm pretty easy to please when it comes to Lush products though. Uh, I definitely have my favorites, Demon in the Dark. That is one item that I truly do hope they will bring back for one of these Lush Kitchen subscription boxes. But I do still have like plenty of Lush favorites that exist in the store now. But there's never really been any Lush product that I like didn't like. So I feel like I'm never really gonna be disappointed with these items. Um, but this box I feel like was a super surprise to have the candle and the perfume in it. Anyway, you guys, now I'm just rambling, but I will have the link for you guys to check out the Lush Kitchen subscription box uh, on your own. And once again, it's not sponsored. I do just love Lush. <laughs> and I will see you guys again very, very soon. I have a Does This Thing Really Work video that I'm pretty sure is gonna be up this week. I'm so excited about that. Um, and I also found a Halloween video that I didn't upload in October. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye. <laughs>